hello everyone so today we are going to start working on display options so this is just only visual as of the moment but these buttons are working even though they are not doing anything but in this episode we are only focusing on how to initialize these options uh, these uh, option buttons and how to bind these back and display go to the menu and back go back to the all the settings options back so basically we establish the flow and create a basic display options window so that's what we are going to work on today and from next uh, episode onwards we will work on how to actually get available displays and get window modes and how to change those things they will come next initially we will work on how to create set up this display options panel right so before we get started let me quickly remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all of the thousands of projects i have done in my channel from the veteran page once you become a member you can access everything without any limits so feel free to check it out and also here is the full playlist of this series everything is implemented from scratch and explained you can follow these episodes and implement everything by yourself too so yeah now let's get back to today's episode okay so right now here if i go to the display options nothing happens because i haven't assigned any options panel to display options but i have assigned to audio and graphics controls so everything else is assigned so gameplay i do have a panel but i don't have any gameplay options so yeah now we are going to work on display options okay so for that let's go to ui and widgets so here i'll create a new user widget widget blueprint and using the type option panel wbp option panel because this is a parent option parent widget that i have used for all of my options panels wbp display of options okay open it now here this is the first thing i'm gonna do go to blueprints here you see it says option category so i want to say display options and here text option panel name i'll change it to display options like this compile now immediately you see display options okay now let's assign this to our settings menu here i'll add display options like this and maybe we should have a category for this oh no it's fine so now uh, display options here let me first select this on back now i'll connect this on back to this because this when i press back button in the display panel it brings us back to settings panel that shows all the settings so that's why i added it and also display options uh no for the display option button yeah mb display on click so I want to open this WBP display options. So I'll do that here. For that, I'll use change panel function that we have already created. And as input, I'll provide display options. Um, I, um, I had a comment here. Settings buttons. 
back maybe back from settings panel this you find that this uh, okay now if i play go to settings and hit display now we go to display options panel which we don't have anything here so if i press back we are back on the settings panel back beyond the again on the main menu quit we can stop the game so the flow is basically established now so as options i want to show display uh, i want to show displays available that means if we have multiple monitors we need to select the monitors we should be able to select the monitor so displays option and uh, window mode option and resolution option fps limit and probably a menu language so those five settings are what i want to show maybe initially just the uh, four settings except language settings um okay so for that here display options i have this initialize options so here i'm gonna use this cycle button option cycle to show all those options so not the cycle button option cycle so here i'll let a let's do something like this create widget and uh, choose cycle option cycle so this is going to be my displays option but i'm not going to implement the actual uh, function where dynamically we get the names of the displays this is only visual in the initial stage so i'll make an array like this and i call it just monitor one and two default selected zero option name displays on a player get going player and then I if I go here I have this SCB options here we have this SCB options this is a scrollable uh, scroll box uh, so this is where I need to add my options so let's go here I'll get a reference to SCB options because this is a child of options panel just this one add child and i'll add this one as a child uh, maybe i should promote this to a variable let's call it um, display displays uh, what should i call it like uh, displays that's not suitable option displays okay i don't have a better name right now option displays and i'll add it here okay now if i compile see i see that okay displays and monitor one is selected so i'll promote collapse this to a function initialize displays now let me duplicate this and call it initialize of window mods here 
I'm just gonna give full screen and window. So as I said, these are just only for visual purposes. I'm gonna implement the actual functions later. I just want to get the visual look first. And here, let's promote this to different variable option. Oh, what? Screen mode. Okay. Initialize. Oh, sorry. I should have duplicated this function itself. That's fine. Let me copy everything and keep undoing. Right. And add a new function. Visualize this uh, screen mode. Font paste. Compile, yeah. Create a variable. Okay. Initialize options. Now I can call this screen mod to compile. Yeah. Now we have the displays and window mod. But this does not have any gaps. So let me check what is the gap that I have used in my other options option padding let me copy this variable into display options option padding and now to add in this slide this cars to scroll box slot and set paddy and give option paddy i need to do this for the screen mode as well okay now we have the gap uh, the other thing we need is fps limit and resolution before that resolution okay resolutions In resolution. Let's change this variable option resolution. Call it in initialize options. Five solution, okay. PS limit initialize PS limit. PS limit PS yeah
and language. My language. So here I'm just gonna give English. That's the only option I'm gonna give. Remove and duplicate this option. Menu language. Now that's all I want for now. Maybe we will add a, a contrast and a brightness adjustment as well. But right now, let's just keep only these and here display. Now we have these. They are working, but not, it's not doing anything. So yeah, we can apply go back and back and quit. Okay, so now we have a display option, even though it's not functional, but we will continue to work on the actual functions from next episode. So thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for download here in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.